our local Las Vegas. Fox 5 News starts now. Boy, a lot of people stunned about this. UNLV football head coach Marcus Arroyo was fired today after the Rebels finished the season with a victory over UNR. Now that he was still able to gather today to paint the cannon red, but the celebration was overshadowed by the firing of their head coach. Fox 5's Paloma Villacana, who has hosted the Reb Zone for three years now with coach Arroyo, shares more on the details behind the firing. Yeah, an emotional day at UNLV. A lot of highs and lows with the players painting the cannon red. They were very excited about that today, but then the kind of the loom of Coach Arroyo being fired is definitely overshadowing today, painting the cannon red. Marcus Arroyo out at UNLV. He finished his career with a three-year record of 7-23 and overall. Arroyo went 0-6 in 2020, 2-10 in 2021, and finished this year 5-7 and overall. Now, there's evident progress of the football team over those three seasons becoming stronger. A 4-1 and start to the season this year was soured by a six-game losing streak in the middle of their season and the Rebels barely beating UNR on Saturday night did it. This morning we heard from UNLV's athletic director Eric Harper and UNLV players on campus. Well, I mean, if you go from the start, you know, everybody dealt with COVID year. Uh, obviously uh, that wasn't a very good year for us. The next year uh, didn't have much success until the end of the season. Uh, and this year we had success at the beginning of the season, but then we, we stalled out for <clears throat> six weeks. Uh, and had a very struggling game the other night against UNR. But, uh, you know, just that full body of work uh, is, does not see the trajectory of the program moving uh, to where we want it to go, and that's winning championships. Uh, I really feel for Coach Arroyo right now. Um, everybody, I mean, we kind of got together as a group right before we came out here and said we were just going to wipe our mind of everything and enjoy our win that we had on Saturday. But I really feel for Coach Arroyo. It's one of the huge reasons why I came here, and that's really my dog. So, uh, um, uh, Honestly, none of us know where to go forward from now, but um, we're going to enjoy the moment while we have it and uh, put a smile on our face. Yeah, it was all smiles from the players this morning, soaking in the moment of beating Reno and painting that cannon red. So what's next for UNLV? We'll see how quickly Eric Harper can fill Arroyo's position as there's currently 12 FBS head coaching spots open right now. Now, if the Rebels are invited to play in a bowl game later this year, uh, their interim head coach, Kenwick Thompson, would lead the team. So we'll keep you up to date on who fills Coach Arroyo's spot and if the Rebels are, are headed to a bowl game later this year. All right, moving forward, Paloma, thank you.